Texas Tech and TCU have competed against each other 60 times since their first matchup in 1926. The Red Raiders lead the overall series 31 to 26 to three. Of course, the rivalry was rekindled when TCU joined the Big 12 in 2012 when a 17th ranked Texas Tech team took down TCU 56 to 53 in triple overtime. In the last six matchups, the team split three to three. In 2013 at Tech, the last time the two teams saw each other on a Thursday, a non-ranked Tech team took down a number 24 TCU team 20 to 10. That Tech team won with two freshman quarterbacks after freshman Baker Mayfield had to be replaced by freshman Davis Webb, who threw the game-winning touchdown in the fourth quarter. 2014 at TCU, the number 10 Horn Frogs left no room for hope and took down the unranked Red Raiders 82 to 27, breaking a Big 12 record for points in a conference game and setting a single game school record for scoring. Yikes. 2015, unranked Tech gave a second ranked TCU team a run for their money, but eventually fell 52 to 55. 2016, it was all about TCU's tough defense and the grit of Tech quarterback Patrick Mahomes. The game went into double overtime, but the 27-24 victory went to Tech on a 37-yard field goal kicked by the trusty Clayton Hatfield. And last season, TCU freshman quarterback Sean Robinson saw his first career start. He was the first true freshman to start at QB in the 17 seasons Patterson was at the helm. It worked out for the 12th ranked Horn Frogs who took the dub 23 to seven. So what does that mean for this season? Pretty much nothing, obviously, except this rivalry has some solid history. Hey guys, I'm Christine Williamson. If you loved that, then you should join me every Sunday at 10.30 a.m. for Rise, live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Big12Sports.com.